one record seizure after the other. This is the latest by Senegal's police. These black notes are fake money worth 5 billion CFA francs, or the equivalent of about $8 million, found in the back of a car parked at a small guest house in Senegal's southern region of Casamance. This video circulating on social media appears to show how the notes are transformed into counterfeit U.S. dollars using powder and chemicals. Four men have been arrested, two of them foreigners. This comes days after one ton of cocaine worth nearly $150 million was found hidden in the back of a truck. Both of these record seizures come from tip-offs from whistleblowers. Senegal's new government has made fighting corruption a priority, a pledge made by its new young president, Basil Jemai Fai. I will promptly initiate a bold policy of economic and financial good governance by relentlessly combating corruption, penal repression of tax fraud and illicit financial flows, protecting whistleblowers, fighting against embezzlement of public funds and money laundering. Before the elections, Fai and now Prime Minister Usman Sonko were sent to prison after they denounced state corruption and the criminal activities of previous government officials. The court saw their claims as defamation. Fai and Sonko want to introduce a new law to protect whistleblowers. There is a culture of fear. No one really wants to denounce legal activities because it's not easy given the reprisals. So to have a law that can protect whistleblowers, it can encourage others to break their silence and reveal crimes. Senegal's new leadership is asking all those who have stolen from the state to return the money or face justice. Custom officials as well as government authorities who were once accused of being corrupt or ignoring crime now appear eager to show they are doing their work for a Senegalese public that wants to see an end to impunity. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.